All right, so this is the 80 series. Uh, well over 12 months on since owning it and she has changed a fair bit. So if you haven't seen my other video, I'll put it up there in the top right and check that out first. So she looks a little different. I'm just gonna go around her here before we get into it. And uh, I'll show you all the mods that have been done so far to make this more livable and work with my bad shoulder. So this is it here. Bit more upgraded than the uh, one you saw last time. So yeah, that's the 80 series. And uh, yeah, we'll get into it. We'll start from the front and work our way to the back. All right, let's start with the engine bay here. So, I got rid of the uh, standard lead acid and found a good second-hand AGM that fits under the bonnet. It's not hot at all because of the heat shield, so it's great. So it will be fine under here. So I've wired the AGM battery in on this side. I've redone all the wiring. Couple of fuses, one for my DC charger and the other one down to my power distribution board which I'll show you in the rear. I'm due for a new battery. Over here I am again running an Intervolt DCC Pro. You would have seen that in my wiring video if you haven't seen that one. I'll put that up there in the uh, top right corner if you want to check it out. Um, Still got the same ARB compressor, but I have changed the fitting over to a Nitto style from the ARB specific one, uh, just so I could run all my TJM uh, lines and inflator. Um, that's it for under the bonnet. Um, let's move into the car. All right, so in the car, I've got the Cap Industries fire extinguisher bracket and fire extinguisher, it's just a uh, fire pro one. Um, I had to use my last one actually to save someone on the side of the road, a young girl, uh, car caught on fire. Um, up in here, just one of my uh, quad vamp on my phone. So it's all there. Over here, I have the HEMA HX2. So that's changed from having the, um, the old Android tablet. So over here I have the MSAC organizer, uh, which has been really handy. Uh, in a driver's seat to make things a bit more comfortable, I have the MSA inflator, um, just a, like an air bladder, just to give me a bit of lumbar support because I don't have it. Um, Intervolt DCC Pro, mounted down here so I can see everything that's happening, just on a bracket with some double-sided tape. Uh, I've got the XRS 370C, still out of the 90 series. That's all working through a pass-through. And I've just got the Pioneer head unit here. Um, well, I'll go into the second row. Second row is a work in progress. So I will have a uh, water tank here and a false floor. And uh, then I'll have storage uh, along this side here and maybe i'll have another cargo barrier come up we'll see haven't decided what i'm doing there yet 100 percent uh this one here is the modified cargo barrier from a high ace um that bolts straight up and down on the drawers not on a slant back it gives me a bit more room on the draw side of things but we'll get into that shortly um yeah that one there is uh, pretty good that does the job uh, nice and secure no rattles Over here is my 12 volt power distribution board. Um, this one I made up and I will be redoing it and making it probably up down to here, just make it a bit longer. Um, and sh obviously shorten some of the cables in the process because they'll be too long, um, but that's fine. Um, so there's power in on the red one, so you can't get it wrong. Power to the fridge, that is a SIG socket, um, which I can plug either another light into or I've got a quad 2.4 amp charger for usb i can plug into that as well up there now that's the isolator for it and then this is the fuse box now when a fuse blows one of those little leds will light up and tell me which one it is so you don't have to go hunting for it um that's been pretty good um yeah that's my little work in progress obviously it's on the cargo barrier down to a plug so i can unplug it all from the rear if i need to take the cargo barrier out 
on the back I have a Kmar right hand side swing away wheel carrier um, I had to have the bracket remade by SBH Engineering I'll put a link in the description for him uh, if you guys want to go check out some of the stuff he does he does a lot of racing fabrication for the Can-Ams and the Ultra 4s and stuff I believe something along those lines possibly maybe not 100% sure I don't follow a lot of racing to be honest um, and yeah and this is the RV storage solutions wheel bag this was on the 90 series shout out to Tash and Hayden for an awesome product um, this thing is durable so if you don't know who RV storage solutions are they were Black Widow at one point um, if you know the name Black Widow same quality as their gear in the back I have the trusty old Titan drawers and I have a Clearview Easy Slide ES150 Plus with an extended handle to suit the Mike Holman 69 litre Traveller dual zone fridge get to that in a minute in the drawers pretty much the same setup I had in the 90 series recovery gear in this bag here my tools in this one a couple of airlines uh, in here is my tire inflator in my driver's side door I have the tire deflator from TJM and uh, at the back I just got a few bits and pieces fuses and whatnot there so that's just like my tool drawer pretty much this side's not going to be very neat but I'll show you so this is pretty much my cooking camping gear hot chocolates tent pegs garbage bags and uh, toiletries and stuff in there so and uh, the straps for the awning now I'll show you this fridge so this is my fridge pretty simple and straightforward drops down so I can get into it with my bad shoulder open it up everything's here bottle of water iced coffees freezers on this side actually a really good fridge does not use a heap of power like I thought it would have um, yeah it's the fridge obviously you got the handle here do you press the lever to bring it up push down the two slides push it in lock the travel slide and you're done easy and simple all right so on this side I have my lighting set up so this is my voltage gauge with a uh, power button here to turn it on and off that has two quick charge three USB ports built into it generally leave that on here's for my amber and white lights on my tailgate so you press the amber light and they come on press the white lights and they come on then you press the side lights and the side lights come on so they're all individually wired in and uh, yeah that's a great addition for campsites at night time um, yeah definitely impressed with it as with the 90 series I'm running the light force rock 20 ultra floods and these have been really good um, not a problem so far um, I'm thinking about maybe getting some amber lights on the side here too maybe we'll see to keep the bugs down at night because these things are bright so so they're all on there so on the rear here I have the uh, steady white LED rock lights in a 5700k rating and then I have the amber rock lights in a 2700 Kelvin rating and yeah just got them on both sides nice neat install not a problem not in the way not going to smack your head on it um, yeah it does the job it's good I like it all right so up here on the roof I just have a June storage box and I have a 110 watt solar panel which does the job but not a problem at all with those um, solar panel works really well plenty of uh, output for what I need I don't think I've ever seen 110 watts out of it yet and then of course I have the uh, 230 Falcon 270 awning which you would have seen in uh, some of my pictures there on Instagram 
and this thing's really good love it cannot complain does the job and is a uh, great addition for the camping and touring setup and of course the last thing i had put up here was the shovel holder there's a high lift jack mount as well but i am not going to be running one of those so i've just left it as is um and yeah made up the little uh, knob here to be able to turn it so yeah that's it that is the setup it works really well for me and the last thing was the upgrade of the wheels and tires so i went from the cooper's stt pros i think it was which i didn't rate at all they would just hold stones and just not a great tire at all i didn't enjoy them so i have gone back to the maxis razor mt 772ms which are the mining spec tire and these are a 16 by 8 neg 22 and they're a really good tire i love them and the other thing i had here which i haven't mentioned is my license plate holder because i had to relocate it from the back i had this made by sbh engineering and uh, grabbed some led lights from led auto lamps added them on and uh, yeah good to go nice and bright at night time and works well if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and i'll get to answering them for you um yeah not really else much to say i'm still persisting with this still got a few little things i need to do here and there and still chasing that backlash issue so that was part of the reason i did the uh, part-time conversion was to eliminate some of that but there's still some there i do have an idea of what it could be um we obviously got to do a little bit more uh testing and get it up on the hoist make sure that's what it is before i do anything so anyway guys have a good one and i'll catch you in the next video